It's easy to do SEO when you got an old site that already has a ton of backlinks. It's easy to spend money on paid advertising when you're already rich in your established company. But once when you're a new website, how can you get that traffic? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna break down the fastest ways to bring traffic to a brand new site. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, click that alert notification. That way when I create live videos, whether it's on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, you'll all get notified. How many of you have a new website? I'm curious because if you have a new website, I wanna see if you implement these tactics and don't just tell me if you have a new website, list out the URL. I'm gonna see if you implement these tactics so we can see your traffic change once you implement them one by one because I bet you it will work. And if you use these tactics and you don't see a gain, you can hit me up personally and I will personally help you out for free. That's how confident I am that these tactics will work. The first method I have for you is to partner with other content creators. Have you thought about co-hosting blog content? So I'll do things where I'll go and I'll create content with other people and we'll do it on a similar topic. So for example, we may do a joint webinar, joint podcast, we may even do roundup posts. We may even do interviews with other people. By partnering with other content creators, you'll find that they'll promote the content and you'll promote the content as well. But you may be like, Neil, I don't have any traffic to my site. That's okay. That's why I also gave you options to interview people and do roundup posts because people are always flattered to be interviewed. People are always flattered to be included in a roundup post. And you know what? When you include experts in these posts, what are they gonna do when it gets published? They're gonna share it. When they share it on their favorite social site, what happens? You get more traffic. And yeah, you may find that all the experts may not share the content, but if you email asking them to, a large portion will. I'm talking about 30, 40 plus percent. I found that when people interview me and they ask me to share the content, almost always I share it. Giveaways, contests, or promotions. Look, reach out to other websites in your niche, offer them something that's valuable to their audience, and they'll spread the word. When they do, you'll get extra traffic. Giveaways have been so effective. You guys are all familiar with the guy named Ty Lopez. Here in my garage is this Lamborghini, right? He's famous or known for that video as well as a lot of other things. What does Ty do that's extremely effective and smart? He does a ton of giveaways. He's given away money, he's given away cars, he's given away shoes, he gives away whatever he wants to give away that he can think of. And it's super effective. Because when you do giveaways, people love it, they spread the word, you get a ton of traffic, you get a ton of followers, a ton of engagement, and you can keep leveraging that audience to keep coming back. When you get those people during those giveaways, make sure you collect their email address, because by collecting their email address and then you release blog posts or new features or content, you can always email them to get them back to your site. Method number three, push notifications. It's the simplest way to keep getting more and more traffic. Just think of it this way, look, Someone comes to your site, are they gonna come back? Chances are no. If you're not sure about this, check out Google Analytics. There's a cohort report in there. It shows you how often people come back. You're lucky if three months down the road, even 1% of your audience comes back. By doing those push notifications, with one click, someone subscribed to your site. They don't have to put in an email or anything. They don't have to give any of their personal information. And then anytime you release more content, any new features, promotions, you can message them all out and quickly get them back to your site. And you can use subscribers to do this, subscribers.com. The fourth thing you wanna do, paid ads. And you may not have a big budget, that's okay. Did you know in many cases, Google AdWords will give you 50 bucks or $100 in free ad spend? Don't believe me, Google for it. You'll find a ton of offers and coupons like that. You can use that to get started. It'll give you a quick boost in traffic. Yes, those visitors may not convert into customers because you may not have enough time to run the optimal campaigns, but it's a great start. Just try that out. You'll get a quick boost of traffic. And you know what? If you get some sales, you can keep doing more and more of it over time. The fifth strategy I have for you is guest posting. Hit up some of the most popular guest contributors on other blogs. For example, if my friend Jason always blogs on Forbes, I'll hit him up, assuming he's not a friend, but let's say this random guy named Jason, I would hit him up being like, Jason, I'm a huge fan of your work, love what you're doing, and then I'll give him feedback and build that connection with him. By continually giving Jason feedback or other guest contributors feedback, teaching them how they can prove you can give him topic suggestions, you'll build up that rapport with them, and then eventually, after a few weeks to a month, asking him to introduce you to the editor of that site, 
and say, hey, I wanna follow in your footsteps and also write on Forbes or Huffington Post or whatever it may be. You'll get an intro from an editor who already writes, which means technically you'll get an intro from our author who writes to an editor. And what you'll find is that editor is more likely to respond and accept you because someone who already writes for them recommended you. Then when you write for them, if you link out to your site, make sure you no follow the link. You don't wanna use it as a link building tactic, but when you link out to your site and you no follow it, you're not manipulating search engines and at the same time, you'll get referral traffic from it. And the last method I have for you, comment on other blogs in your industry. Now, when you comment on these blogs, I'm not just saying leave stuff like, nice comment, good job. I'm talking about leaving detailed comments that provide readers with feedback. And when you leave a comment, right, and people are getting all this advice and feedback from you, when you leave that comment, you'll find that it's asking for your name and URL and a comment. You already know what to do in the comment box. Your name is your name. Your URL should be your website URL. Then eventually as people like your comments, they will click on those comments. People will go to your site and you'll be getting more visitors. You know about a site called Mashable? Pete Cashmore, the founder of Mashable, that's what he did when he first started off. That's how he grew that site's in popularity. If you want more traffic to your site, you need help with your marketing, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. And if you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, tell other people about it. Thank you for watching.